Hey everybody, it's me, Torre, and I'm bringing you Alterac Valley. I just decided to shoot this, show people the Horde's way of Alterac Valley. Alright, um, basically, make sure you buff everybody. It really, don't be stingy, just buff them, you know. It'll help, it helps the team out a lot if people have buffs. I know a lot of times it's very stingy people out there. Alright, so here I put the Crusade Aura, it makes me run faster, and of course I just sped it up so I can uh, put all the footage in. But uh, the Crusade Aura makes you run faster, you see I'm ahead of the pack. Most of the time I'm always in the front, because I like to get to the first tower and take down the leader real quick. First tower is a female magician, I forgot her name, I think it's Bethilda or something like that. So right there I just put my Crusade on wait for a few people to help me in the background uh, so I don't take it all and then I just rush in and uh, start hitting her stunning her everything you can throw at her you throw at her um, stun does work on her poisons do not if you're a hunter concussion shot does not work on her um, so I just keep pounding away for her if you're the most if you're the person that hits her the most as you can see right there she'll sheep you to get you for, to stop hitting. I, I guess I was the person that was doing the most damage, so she sheep me. As you can tell, I did get the new. I got a new sword. If you check the armory, I have the new PVP sword, and I'm more slowly but surely working on the gear. Um, and you can see in the background healers healing me, and healing the other tanks. Uh, that makes a quick instance. It really helps out. You see her health going down slowly but surely. She's almost dead. I'm throwing everything I got at her to kill her quickly. Quickly, quickly sorry. Um, and then she's about dead. And just trying to get out. And then everybody mounts up. I tend to always look up. It's always a good sign if you see the horde symbol on top of that tower. That means that tower has been taken over. You're free to move on. If it's not taken over by the time you get out of there, it's not going to be a good game. It's not going to be a good game. And another good sign if, you, if things are going really smoothly for your team is when you hit this corner right here and you see that the horde is controlling the, that uh, graveyard right there, that's another great sign right there. I also look in the corners to see if, uh, if both towers are taken out. They're not taken out. So, I go in here, I have one dwarf on me, elite dwarf, level 69, I believe. I start fighting him, um, of course I get back up. Uh, being a proc, I don't deal much damage, but I can take a whole lot of damage. So, of course I need help. <clears throat> As you can see, they're going down pretty quick. Uh, I have a rogue, was that a rogue? No, there's another pally in the back. Uh, give me a hand. So he was healing me as I was attacking, and then came a, a warrior to help and finish off. Um, then we took over this tower. <clears throat> Sorry, I got a slight cold. Uh, finish this guy up. Every time you kill NPCs, it uh, the re their reinforcements go down. So please don't pass up on an NPC. Uh, kill them. It it uh, it helps out you and your team. Uh, then ally came in, a druid took him down real quick. And, and this guy was here. Who is this? Another NPC. A store pipe uh, supplier took him down real quick. And then all that's left is to go into the boss and kill that kill the boss. Uh, this guy is not that easy, even with three, I, I guess. Um, well, I don't know why that warrior was two-handed. Usually warriors do deal much more damage. Um, duel. So all right, I buffed him up real quick. He's regenerating your health, and then we're gonna go in. By the time we're done here, both towers are taken over. Uh, of course, make sure you regen because we take out we take down the boss. Uh, both towers are done, and everybody is rushing in to the boss. Another good sign if you see the graveyard is taken over by your side. That prevents the allies from coming in and um, and uh, disturbing when you're trying to do the pulls and try to weaken up the teams. Okay, I get in here. I notice that the boss is there. They're trying to pull off the, the, the other elites. 
that are from him tried to get a swing in but uh, if they get too far out they evade so what you want to try to do is try to get a hunter to pull them pull the smaller guys and then leave the main boss and maybe one other guy there to kill um, you see uh, we're all waiting a lot of time it's just waiting uh, for someone to pull and try to um, make it at least two two guys left uh, the other boss is a skull so I don't know what his level is if anybody knows uh, let me know in comments if anybody knows his exact level um, alright we're gonna call we're ready to go in they put the marks on and then we're all gonna just rush in take down take down the boss alright everybody's just doing their final buffs and here we go everybody on the boss if he got a good team you're, you're always gonna get healed I got all I got healed a few times didn't have to worry about that nothing really works on him so don't try your stuns um, dots work a lot if you don't know what a dot is it's damage over time a bleed a curse just they and they stack on him so just keep throwing them the, on them I threw the crusader or on them on him so every time uh, I hit him he does extra holy damage of course we had a few uh, allies come in and try to stop us and just everybody just keeps pounding on him he is a skull he does have high HP so it takes a lot of people to pound on him the same thing with the lion side their boss takes forever to kill but um, if everybody pounds on him you should be able to to kill him real quick alright you see his health is about maybe at 80 percent and dropping we got healers we got druids shooting the guy uh, is dotted um, you see all the dots on his uh, on his health and they just keep growing and growing and growing everybody's pounding him he's at 50 percent right now of course I just keep spamming concentration and I keep uh, doing that uh, any type of spells that I can use to help once again um, I don't bother using even even though I use it for the hell of it the stun uh, the hammer of justice it doesn't really work on him it doesn't stun him so I just keep pounding away um, he's down to like 10% right now and he goes down and uh, get honor points if you like my videos subscribe and there is my level 70 on armory uh, hope everybody enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time